Hello Aquarius! This is your September forecast. There's going to be a focus on your finances, your work, your relationships, lots happening this month. On the 2nd of September, Mercury, planet of communications, changes sign and goes into your ninth house. And this is going to be a very big focus for you this month. And the ninth house is all about widening your perspective, seeing things from a broader perspective rather than a narrow perspective. So this is a wonderful time for writing, for publishing, for maybe self-publishing. It's a wonderful time for studying, learning, teaching, mentoring, training, coaching. It's a wonderful time too for connecting with people from overseas and certainly for learning a new language. It's wonderful for that. Now for the first four days of the month we've got Venus here with Jupiter in your seventh house of relationship. So my dear Aquarius, for those of you in a relationship, bring some more romance into it. You know how to do that when you first met and how wonderful it was. This is a great opportunity to bring some more spice into an existing relationship and of course an opportunity to meet somebody new, a love, a romance as well for the first four days of the month. After that we've got Venus going into your eighth house and it's joining the Sun which is there until the 22nd of this month. So what this is all about is that this is a shining a light for you Aquarians on <clears throat> your use of resources, how you use money, finances, how you deal with other people and your finances, are you valuing yourself enough, do you need to sort out any debts, any insurance, any mortgage, do you need to remortgage, do you need to sell and get rid of um, a property. This is all about taking care of your, financi your finances. It can also bring some help from somebody who wants to invest in you or who is interested in you to go more deeply into getting to know you. This can bring a greater intimacy in a relationship, a deeper connection, a sexual connection as well. This can also bring you greater insights into the workings of your mind, what you're thinking about, and you can get to the bottom of maybe some behavior patterns. You know, if you keep going into the same kinds of relationships and then ending up hurt or finding that you are always in a relationship where you're the partner that's doing everything and the other person takes you for granted, this is going to give you an opportunity to understand the mechanism behind what keeps getting you into the same situations and you're repeating the same painful lessons. Could be painful lessons connected with finances as well that you need to learn and it's trying to help you. Now, on the 9th of the month we've got a lovely full moon in Pisces and this is happening in your house of money, Aquarius. So during a full moon in Pisces it's really important to chill, to relax, to allow yourself just some time out. It really is a time for just checking out for a while. Maybe even just going away for a day so that you're just not around your usual surroundings. Now the fact that it's falling in your second house along with Neptune, I think many of you have been finding that money has been slipping through your fingers a little bit and with the moon there it's going to shine a light on how you're dealing with money and finances. Are you allowing people to take advantage of you? Is somebody treating you dishonestly with finance? Are you being real about your finances? Are you balancing your checkbook? Do you need to make some changes here? This is all what is going to be triggered because a full moon shines a light on an area, often the things that we've missed. So with Neptune being there as well, you may have missed some important aspects about um, how you're valuing yourself. Are you valuing your time, your services, or are you just kind of willy-nilly giving things away too much? These are the questions that will come up during this full moon in Pisces. 
Now the first week of the month we've got Saturn conjunct Mars here in this 10th house for you. So this is very much about feeling as though maybe you're making one step forward and two steps back in your career. What this is about for you is really choosing one project, something that's really important to you, that you're excited about, and putting some structure around it so that you can achieve something, produce a result. So, for example, it would be a good time at work to decide on one thing that you really want to accomplish and then set yourself goals, yeah, daily goals. Maybe, for example, you want to write a book, but you're not every day exercising a muscle to do that. So maybe you need to say to yourself, I'm going to structure my day 10 minutes a day, I'll write. Let's say you're overweight and you're not exercising. Well, maybe you'll say to yourself, 10 minutes a day, I'm going to do some exercise. I'm going to structure myself. This is a way of making best use of what can be a challenging energy. Now on the 14th of the month, we've got a glorious trine between Pluto and Venus. So this could well bring an amazing person into your life. Somebody that you are powerfully drawn to, attracted to. Could be a physical attraction, certainly, with the Venus in the eighth house. It could be somebody from a past life that is you, you really just draw to you, that is really, it's an uplifting experience, potentially, on the 14th. And it could be money coming to you as well. Now, on the 23rd of the month, we've got the sun coming into this ninth house. As I said, the ninth house is triggered this month, so this is a possibility for travel. We've got, on the 24th, a new moon in Libra, also in the ninth house, new beginnings. And on the 29th of the month, we've also got Venus joining everybody and his dog in that ninth house. So we've got a stellium of planets, three or more planets in one house, and it's all happening up the top of the chart. So this is about you looking at your higher education. What do I need to learn? What can I share? What can I teach others? We are in the age of Aquarius coming into it, which is the age of information, as you can see. What information do you have to share? It's a wonderful time for publishing a book. It's a wonderful time for promoting yourself in some way out there, being very out there. It's new beginnings, a new person from overseas coming into your life that you love being with, could be a friend, could become a lover. You might find yourself doing business overseas, import, export, trading, dealing. Um, it's a wonderful time as well for anything connected with higher learning, your spiritual self. What do you believe now? The whole world is changing and as we get further into quantum physics, a lot of the beliefs that we've held about our world, I mean look how everything changed when everybody thought the world was flat, then we found out it was round. Look at how everything changed when we found electricity. It's that kind of a change that's going to be happening. So how can you keep your antennae open? Because you do love that. You're a mind sign mentally. You love to be stimulated. So learn these new things. It's an opportunity to learn them, to incorporate them into your life. It's exciting. Look at the crop circle that just appeared in southern Germany. We're getting lots of messages from different places, space and countries and different things. You could be tuning in to a lot of this during this month, particularly towards the end of it, Aquarius. We've got a glorious time for the last 10 days of the month with Jupiter to Uranus, suddenly bringing you a new relationship, a new friendship, suddenly bringing you unexpectedly interesting and exciting new connections. We've, of course, we're still up against the square going on from Pluto to Uranus, and this is all about, um, you can see it in the world now, the powers that be are manipulating, getting stronger, trying to get stronger. They don't like that their power, Uranus, the people power, being taken away from them. We're on the way to that. But at the same time, what goes on in the heavens and the world outside of us goes on in a different way inside of us. And so really look at where are you kind of suppressing yourself? Where are you suppressing your energy? 
and where do you need to be free to let go yes is it in a relationship is somebody really controlling you are you allowing that kind of manipulation to take place is somebody giving you aggressive passive aggressive behavior and you're not noticing it where are you feeling suppressed this is going to come up more and more and we're going to break out of it there will be a breakout of all the things that have held us down and really kept us small this is a time for thinking big for going bigger this is what this month is about for you Aquarius so if you'd like me to take a look at your chart please do come for a reading we can look at how all these aspects are going to affect you personally and i thank you for subscribing commenting sharing thank you have a great month bye for now